Richard General Schwenga and the Vice President of Zimbabwe is married again. Whilst the former wife, Mary Schwenga, is still in pain. And there is still a lot of things that are unresolved in this matter. What does this mean for us as a country? What does this mean for somebody who is second in command of the nation? We're going to look at all that today. Hello and welcome to JCTV Africa. We look at issues that are happening across Africa and Zimbabwe, where I am from. Anyway, the Vice President General Chwenga is married again. According to the reports, he has been married three times in less than 15 years. What does this say about our leader? What does this say about our country? Right. I want to bring you, it's sort of like a joke, but this is what Apostle Schwenger said that when we vote and we gave a president, we are showing the world the best men that we have. And at this moment, at this point in time, we have our vice president who is not able, who is, whose private life is being displayed badly on, uh, to us, the citizens. What does this mean? I'll take you back in 2009 when Morgan Changrai lost his wife, Susan Changrai. You know what happened? He struggled to find his soulmate. And this is one of the reasons why MDC struggled in 2013 elections. Because a lot of people, they didn't have confidence in Morgan Changera. And because of his private life, of his marriage, people were saying, how can we trust somebody to become our president when he cannot manage his home? Right? So this is one of the biggest things that made Mugen Changrai to lose. I remember talking to other people in 2013 elections and you know people were saying to me, Mugen Changrai does not have confidence, confidence like Robert Mugabe has. Mugen Changrai does not have that decorum like Robert Mugabe has. Those are some of the misgivings. I know people didn't like Mugabe and people had a little bit forgotten what had happened in 2008. But what it meant was that ZANU-PF could score cheap points against MDC because of his conduct and how he met the first wife and paid for, her, for him, uh, paid for her, and then a lot of drama happened. So it is the same what is happening with our vice president, that all these things, how badly are they going to reflect come the pause of 2023 are people going to trust that the same man who mistreated his former wife in whatever circumstances that happened whatever stories that we are hearing that she tried to poison general chwenga we don't know but how you resolve a problem as a public figure says a lot about your character and how you are you somebody who is going to be out there to revenge? Because if you can be this vengeful to your own wife that has bore children with you, how much more to the people that are going to oppose you in parliament, that are going to oppose you in thinking, how best are you going to deal with them? Are you going to be very vengeful? Are you going to be very, uh, very, you know, defensive and try to crush them? These are some of the things that are on goals for the ruling party. And I bet there is no one who has got the guts to face the vice president and say, what you are doing is wrong because he's somebody who is fearful. And we have heard this even with his former wife, um, Justina. She said that no one can talk to the men. We have also heard it from one family member who is Apostle Chwenga, that this man is like this. And there is no such credible source that we can trust in if we want to find out the character of our Vice President. What does it mean for ZANPF come 2023? Is there anything that they can do in order to clean up this public 
spectacle that they are being exposed to as a party by one of their principals. Who live to see that? But tell me what you think in the comment section about this whole issue of the vice president getting married again in less than 15 years. Yet, he is our national leader.